And we are back. So um, with this one, we're gonna do Kalakula Satyayama. So the tribe of Kalas, Kalakula, Kala is for the dark masculine again, one of the archetypes of Shiva, and uh, Kula, the tribe. And when we, when we sing, Satya is truth, truth, Yama mastery. So what this means is that we are joining into the field of truth mastery. This means that we want to be truth to each other, not only to each other, but really anchor that into the brotherhood that we are creating. So you see that now we are really entering into an energetic intentionality. We are really designing a field of energy. And uh, if you don't know if this works, well, I encourage you to try it out because it's like after you know two days we have been doing the, the Tantric Man event and um, after two days together, you know, it's like it really creates a field of resonance with each other, right? And after that, you know, we, we can feel each other, we offer each other support, there is, there is a field which is really, really strong and solid. So it goes like this. Kala kula satya yama, kala kula jaya, kala kula satya yama, kala kula jaya. Kala kula satya yama kala kula jaya 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 kala kula satya yama kala really a field of resonance that is really anchored. Uh, those words, imagine that you have really a, a creative chamber, you know, in the upper levels over there in the buddhic realms. And so we are really downloading that into creation. And that's not, of course, all we do. There is intentional communication. There is other practices that we can do, of course. But once we anchor that, we are really activating the, the tantric temple and uh, activating the field of truth. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right? It's fun to have this stuff. There is so much more mantras. There is about a hundred codes that we can use right now to anchor different aspects. If right now was activating that with the circle of women, we can use the words Kalikula instead of Kala. Instead of the circle of Kalas, we can say the circle of Kalis, for instance, right? So there's lots of variations. If you want to have a softer version, instead of um, anchoring the dark masculine, which is one of the energies that we are working with, we can go Shiva Kula, <laughs> you know, or if you feel like you're in resonance with the energy of Krishna, you can go Krishna Kula or Shakti Kula, the, the tribe of Shaktis, you know. So it's infinite, you know, we start really designing and weaving these uh, beautiful energies together. Makes sense? Amazing. Yeah. 